Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and I'm going to show you now how to create custom sky textures. And you can use this same technique to export other textures and uh, customize those as well, just like wall textures and other stuff. So, first you'll need to get a copy of XWE. This is just what I use personally. Uh, I'll provide a download link, look at the video description, and the link should be there. Once you have XWE, uh, I usually w open it up uh, and run as an, and run as administrator just to make sure I don't have any problems. And I'm going to go ahead and just close anything that's already open here. And the first thing that you want to do is export the sky texture that you want to edit. So we'll go to File and Open, and then find your Doom 2 wad. I've already got mine here in like the little quick open list, and then open your main Doom 2 wad. Now you want to be careful with this because you really don't want to save any changes or delete anything because if you do you're going to have to get a new copy of the WAD uh, and it'll probably be screwed up. But this is pretty much like all of Doom 2's stuff. Textures, maps, music, everything all in one directory. So you can go down after you've opened this and click on this button here that says patches. This is where the uh, sky textures are. You can also go to textures and uh, maps. I mean, it's got everything. But just go to patches for now. And if you like click here, you can use your arrows key, arrow keys. And you can press down and cycle through your textures. You can see it's got a bunch here. Uh, but when you scroll down the list, the one you'll want to find is called right here. R Sky 1. Now, as you get later in the game, other skies start being used. You'll see R Sky 2. This is like the industrial setting. And R Sky 3, this is like the hell setting later in the game. If you really want to uh, make it so that the sky never changes depending on what level you're on, uh, if, for example, you were making like a big megawad, you could pretty much just uh, export uh, just one of these, rename it R Sky 2. And then rename it R Sky 3 and just import them and ha make them all have the same image. And that way it would stay the same regardless which uh, level you're playing on. But that's a more complicated thing to go into. For now, uh, since you, I'm assuming you're going to start on map 1, just go to R Sky 1 because that's what's found at the beginning of the game. You'll see the preview right here. And then just go to Entry and then Save As. And you can see the one I've already created myself, but uh, right there is where I've already saved it. But make sure you keep the file name the same. Just save it as rsky1 and put it in a uh, folder like where your map's at, for example. So now that this is saved, uh, for now I'll just uh, go to File and then Close to close out all the Doom 2 stuff. Go to your folder now where you save that image, rsky1. And all you have to do is pull up something like, for example, Photoshop or even Microsoft Paint because it's just a bitmap file, like a BMP extension. Then you can go to Open. Uh, let's say, for example, I open, here it is. All you have to do is just uh, zoom up close to it because at, the, at first it's going to be real small because it's at a small resolution. And if you want to modify it, you pretty much just do whatever you want from here. Like, uh, let's say, for example, I want a sky that has, like, chubs in green letters, like, written all all around you. Like, you'll see chubs, then over to the right a little bit will be chubs again, and it just keeps repeating. You can do something even as stupid as that. Um, I've already created my own sky texture, so I'll just not save any changes. And here's the one I created. This is just meant to be goofy and like overly colorful. But this is what I turned it into. I just erased everything, started from new. I, I drew some green look like hill looking things, put some faces on them, made a blue sky, put some clouds there. And all you have to do is just save it and keep the same file name. That's all you got to do. And uh, just make sure it's still... R Sky 1 and make sure that it still has a bitmap or BMP extension. And after you've modified it and saved it, you can just go ahead and close whatever image editing, editing application you've used. 
and now go back to XWE and this time instead of opening up Doom 2 you're actually going to open the custom wad that you want to replace the sky in so go to file and right here my wads already in the quick open list again so I don't have to go to open but if yours is not there uh, and more than likely it won't be in this case just go to open and find it so now that your wad is open here if you click patches you'll see that it doesn't show anything uh, as far as I know the reason why is if you open up a custom wad it'll only show custom files or files that you've actually imported so make sure again that you click patches just to f sort of filter it out and then go to entry load and all you got to do is just load your sky into it so you'll see now underneath patches all I have is just the sky and that lets me know this is the only custom thing I have right now and you'll see the preview down here and now uh, since we've done this you can just go to file close just to make sure everything's done close out XWE and when you now play your wad instead of a regular looking sky it's going to look like this goofy uh crazy looking hill thing that i showed you earlier it's going to look like this 